Yo, what's up guys? So I'm going to show you guys how to make a Merch by Amazon listing. If you guys haven't seen the previous video where I did the research for this niche, it's in the tax niche. And you guys want to check out this video up here, above here somewhere. And I break down how I did the research and how I found the niche. And now in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the listing for that niche. So if you have a design, I'm going to show you guys how to do the listing for it. Um, and give you guys a better idea, give you guys a better understanding when you guys are done with this video. And most importantly, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you guys do hit that notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up because it helps me, right? And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. All right, guys. So I created a design over here um, using my phone. Okay, I did my taxes using the over app. Very simple, very easy. Um, we're right here. We're focusing on the standard T-shirt, so I uh, unselected everything, right? And uh, only yeah, unselected everything. We're focusing on the standard T-shirt because me personally, in my account, it's like ninety percent of the products that sell are standard T-shirts. Um, so what I did is come over here to Amazon.com and I just typed in tax shirt, right? And I did this little thing. Let's use this little tool over here with Helium Ten. It's called the X-ray, and basically just kind of just research the whole whatever amount of pages um, popping up for a tax shirt and I found this one over here I can't it's tax season right and what I did was come down over here and I wanted to look at this I want to see some consistency in this bad boy like this is a consistent seller it sells pretty much every single month right as you can see and it's a lot of consistently going into 2021 the BSR is really low so I wanted to see what long tail keywords, because this has some data, right? It's been selling over and over and over. And obviously there's some data right here that we can learn from. Um, you can see, look at the title, tax season, accounting, fund, accountant, CPA, gift, right? Um, and as we come over here, I plugged in the ASIN to Celebro. This is a Helium 10 little tool, little features, really awesome. Um, and <clears throat> what I found was tax season shirts search volume of 220 it's very consistent if you look over here very consistent right um and then the competing products i always look at this i always want to make sure there's like very little competition here it's let, let's the, the the long tail keyword that i'm trying to target i want to make sure there's not there's not that much competition right because it's going to be harder for me to rank for this product i'm trying to rank for this product and then eventually i rank for the, like the, the like the bigger search terms right so hopefully as i rank for, for this one right here in the algorithm will start to push me for other big keyword uh, keyword phrases that have a ton of search volume. So this right here, tax season, okay. Um, shirts, obviously, you can obviously do more with this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to rank for tax season. So, right, as I come down here, over here to brand, um, I recommend you always capitalize the first letter of the word, okay, so tax season. And you can do something right here. It's up to you. You can either put T's, co, but like you want to make this sound professional as possible. So you can do co, right? And um, as the algorithm starts to learn the product, it will start to add, right? T's. And I mean, that's why it says not to put like it'll shirt, like don't put this product in there. Don't put the the actual, like the product in the, into the um, description. It tells you right there. Um, so the goal is to rank make sure we have the exact phrase exact phrases are very important okay when you're making a listing you want to understand that when you make when you're doing this listing you want to put the exact phrases in here as you can see over here looking at this like you can see the tax season right they have it in here the exact phrase um, now as we go in here um, we're looking at other things so accounting okay um, CPA okay accounting gifts for women okay accounting accountants gifts Okay, accountant gifts and then CPA gifts. And we're looking at all this. So accounting is going to be obviously one of the keywords that we're trying to rank for in here. I'm trying to get as much exact phrases in here. Two there's like you should know there's no reason why you shouldn't have two or more exact phrases in a title because this is gonna get you increased um you're, you're like, it's going to literally increase the traffic to your listing, right? The more traffic you get to your listing, the better, the better chance that you give your product to make a sell and for you to rank. And then next thing you know it, 
you have a consistent seller, an evergreen product that's selling all year round, every single month, every single day, every single week, right? So that's important that you understand that as we do this. Um, so we're seeing, uh, um, you're gonna see CPA gifts. Okay, we're gonna toss this in here. We gotta make sure this is together, right? And we're gonna put this all in capitalized letters, CPA account, so account, accountant, okay. Uh, accounting accountant um, and then what about the phrase so what I recommend so if there's a phrase on the shirt and it's ranking and people are searching for it you would literally put that at the beginning right here did my taxes all right you know that if, if this you if you know that this is going to be a a, a selling phrase and it's going to sell consistently you definitely want to have that in the title and this is how I would do it okay um, bullet point one and bullet point two I would literally, you can all, you also, you don't have to pay for helium 10. You don't need to use helium 10. You can use the Amazon search bar. It's going to take a little bit more time. Um, there's the AMZ suggest and expander that you would use as a free tool. As you type into the search bar, um, come over here, watch me show you come over here to the search bar. If you press space, like you're going to get like different sayings. Um, like a CPA. Oh, CP. Like we type in CPA. Um, other stuff is going to pop up CPA t-shirt. You're going to see like, you know what I mean? You're going to get a ton of keywords over here that are going to pop up. So as you're starting to learn and starting to do this type of stuff, you're going to see your keywords. When you start to search for certain things, CPA accounting gifts, you're going to see, you know what I mean? That's a, a long tail keyword right there. Um, but yeah, you don't have to use any of this, any of the PA tools, but the only reason I like to use them because it speeds up the process and gives me a better idea if there's a search volume or not. And that's very important because you don't want to put a keyword in there that doesn't have no search volume because sometimes you'll do that. You'll see something that'll pop up. Oh, that's a good keyword. But then you really, you know, there's no search volume, right? So um, bullet point one, bullet point two, two long, two long tail keywords in here that are related to the niche. Do not spam this right here. And then I'll just literally copy bullet point one, bullet point two, and throw in the description. And you're done. Boom. That's it. Check out my other videos over here, up above, um, to the side, wherever the heck they are. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Peace out. Thank you very much.